Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Carolina if you're new here. I'm actually very thrilled that you decided to click on this video because that means that you might be thinking the same way I am or having some thoughts on this topic. A little disclaimer first. I am talking here with my own words. I am not citing anyone, much less am I trying to teach anything to anyone. I just felt it was a good idea to voice my ideas or opinions on this subject, but I don't have any intention of changing your mind about anything if you feel that I'm talking against something that you believe in. I do want to point, however, that everything I'm discussing in this video and everything I made my speech around was based on the scripture on the Bible, so just for you guys to know that. And now you might be wondering, what on earth am I talking about? Well, let's let me give you some context. Um, a few months ago, I think I uploaded a vlog for Christmas and I guess I showed you guys that I was reading Harry Potter. So I got the comment on the video from one of y'all saying like, oh, I love your video and I love watching your vlogs, blah, blah, blah. And then she just typed something like, I'm so sorry to see that you're reading Harry Potter. Like that's witchcraft, right? <laughs> And instead of upsetting me, it definitely amused me and it actually inspired me to make this video. I definitely don't want to get into what's good or bad for us. If we are Christians and if we are humans with a conscience, we pretty much have that clear. We know that there is no gray area, no area for doubt as to what is good or bad. What changes a little bit is the convictions that we have in our hearts. When we're Christians, God will definitely work on us and kind of convince us of the different things that we should abandon or the things that are not bad for us to do. But that does not give us the right to tell others what is right and what is wrong or what they should or should not be doing based on what we believe or what we have been told to do or not. And one of these days, I was reading Mark chapter 14, I think it was verses 1 to 9, where it talks about the story of this woman that comes to Jesus and anoints his head with a very pricey and precious oil. And get this, the disciples, I mean the people that were following Jesus, started judging her on her actions. They started saying that it was wasteful, that it was unwise, almost making it sound like her service to Jesus was kind of a sin or something that she should have thought better about. Unfortunately, this is something that I've been seeing a lot in the Christian society that we live in nowadays, brother judging brother. But on what grounds? Who are we to say that we are right about something and the other person isn't? And guys, Jesus expanded so much on this on the Gospels because he knows who we are and he knows what we do. So he made sure to give us a lot of references as to not to do this. You can find them in every Gospel where he spoke to not judge the other person for one very important reason. And that reason is that whatever we judge others for doing or not doing, we are going to end up doing it ourselves or we're already doing it ourselves. And to prove this, we have a very enlightening verse on Romans 2, 1, which I actually have here with me in my Bible. And I'm going to read it for you guys. It says, Therefore thou art inexcusable, O men, whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judgest doest the same thing. So if that's not clear enough, I don't know what is. And if that's not clear enough for us to understand how useless and unnecessary it is for us to pass judgment on others, I have another verse in which it makes it even clearer. And this one you can find it in James 4.12 and it reads as follows. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy, who art thou that judgest another? So again, we are nobody. We have no grounds to judge somebody else or to tell them that they should or should not be doing something because we simply cannot say. We did not make the rules. We did not make the law. God is the one who judges. We just fall really short of his measure. There is this one story or comparison that I read in one of the books from Max Lucado. It was just comparing how impossible it is for us to reach the kingdom of God. And in this book, he said that reaching the kingdom of God is like jumping from the earth to the moon on our own human strength, which is not humanly possible, right? Yet we find it in ourselves to boast to other people how good or righteous we are just because we jumped, we tried jumping and we looked at the side and it turns out I jumped higher than you. So now I feel all righteous and good about the fact that I jumped higher than you. But in the end, no matter how higher I jumped than you, I'm still miles short from making it to the moon. 
that is how useless and pathetic we look when we are boasting with each other that oh i'm better than you because i do these or i do that i mean in the end we are all the same we all have different convictions we all have different things that we battle with but there is one thing that we all all have in common and it's that we are absolutely important and useless when it comes to gaining the kingdom of god we all need the same thing and that one thing we need we cannot ever achieve it on our own and that is jesus on the cross we could not have done that ever and my scriptural backup it's on ephesians 2 9. i'm gonna look for it and i'm gonna read it for you guys ephesians 2 9 and it says not for works lest any man should boast there you go again he specifically said that salvation was by grace and faith and not through works because if not they knew that we would be boasting about the fact that hey i jumped i was able to do it and you weren't anyway going back to the story of jesus with the woman and the oil right jesus obviously read these people's heart his disciples thoughts and he called them out on it and he said something very precious he said let her alone and i want to kind of piggyback of jesus's words right here because i just think it is so sad how we are driving people away from god just because they do things that we ordinarily wouldn't or because they don't do things that we are used to doing in the end jesus is just looking at the intention jesus looks at the motivation and that's something that as humans we cannot see in each other because we cannot read each other's heart and yes there are people doing things for the wrong intentions or wrong reasons even good things having been one of them myself there are people that go to church religiously they do certain things for other people to see them but there is no pure motive in their heart and the same way there are people that are trying their best maybe they can't achieve it maybe it's hard harder for them maybe they have a background where they were used to doing certain things and meeting jesus doesn't mean that all of a sudden i'm changing and i'm not watching tv anymore or listening to music right but their intention is there but again we as humans cannot really tell and jesus is the only one who can see that intention Simply put, we just can't know. And until Jesus comes here and brings us home and gives us a glorified body, we can only do the one thing he repeatedly told us to do. And that was love thy neighbor as thyself. And the whole subject of love thy neighbor is a whole big deal. But all in all is let it go. And don't judge. Don't pass judgment on someone that you know nothing about you don't know their convictions and you don't know their heart much less do you know their motivations and intentions i know this is a very broad subject guys and i could expand on it for days probably and bore you with a lot of talk i feel like i did not even grow up in that strict of a church and yet i am still very self-conscious about who I am and what I can do and what people will say if I do certain things, we have to realize that the bad stuff is coming from our old nature, the one that we cannot control, the one that, like it or not, sometimes is going to slip through the crack. And I'm working on it, he is working on it in my life, and in each one of us who are trying our best to become who he made us to be. But there is nothing worse than feeling hunted or judged by others and feeling like we're not good enough and that we're not going to get enough of his love or grace just because we do things differently or we are not as religious as others seems to be he never asked that of us he just asked us to love him with all of our heart with all of our mind with all of our strength with all of our soul that's all he asked of us he just asked for everything and that everything includes who he made me to be my likes my wishes my trends whatever it is he wants me with all of that included and that is something that i hope that you guys can get from my channel i want this to be a safe space as i mentioned i was amused by that comment that i got from the girl and that's okay if she thinks or if some of y'all think that reading harry potter or reading any of my secular books is wrong well that's up to you guys that's not my conviction and i have a lot of different convictions from you but i just wanted to know that i'm okay with myself i'm satisfied with who he made me do i have bottles yes i do we all do but he is slowly working that in my heart and i know that he's working different things in yours and i am prepared to accept you guys the way you are leading you all to jesus because all in all no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation as second peter says so we cannot just take something from the scripture and make it say something different and that's what i want here i want to share with you guys the scripture share what i learn every day from his word in a safe space, not pointing fingers at anyone because the fact that you do something that I might not think is right 
doesn't make it wrong and vice versa so that's pretty much the whole story in a nutshell guys i know it was a bit of a rumble i know it was a little bit of a different type of sit down video because i was not able to find a freaking spot in my room to record this and i'm sweating so badly because i had to turn off my fan but thank you guys so much for sticking around and hearing me out this was something so important for me i actually did a whole written report of this and i was kind of like referring to my notes as i spoke so i might be uploading this through my website if you didn't know i have a website it's also called dear ordinary caro and you can find it linked below so you can give the whole script a read if you want to and share with your friends share it with anyone that you feel they need to know that we are free to be who we are because he made us that way and he died for us knowing who we really were without any reservations so with that thought i'll leave you guys thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video goodbye